Yo, yo, what's mobbing? You already know what it is. It's Bazooka the Disciple, man. Welcome to Hog Mob Media. Uh, make sure y'all like and subscribe. Uh, so today we pretty much just going to get into a quick devotional and uh, we're going to uh, talk about Proverbs 3, 11 and 12. The scripture reads, do not regard lightly the discipline of the Lord, nor be weary when reproved by him. For he disciplines the one he loves and chastises the son whom he delights in. And so uh, what really spoke to me um, in regards to this scripture is the fact that, you know, the father disciplines those he loves, as the scripture says. And sometimes us as individuals, we'll, the way that we look at discipline is almost like it's a bad thing. You know, we have a negative connotation when it comes to discipline and chastisement and rebuke, you know, but it literally says that the father rebukes those who he loves. And uh, in my life, there were times that I did despise the discipline of the Lord. You know, uh, situations were occurring in my life and it just seemed like it was nonstop, you know, um, things, a lot of things that I didn't have control over and a lot of things that I did. Um, and, and so I really kind of blame God. I blame a lot of outside circumstances. I blame people. And, um, and I really believe that because of that, um, it really stagnated my growth and it kept me from you know, receiving the, the instruction and the lesson that I was supposed to be getting from it, you know, and um, and I know that it was because of the, fa the father loved me. He was training me up. He was trying to teach me something. He's trying to build endurance, uh, build faithfulness, you know, and so, uh, and I just want to encourage, you know, everyone out there who might be going through a season of discipline right now, uh, don't, don't despise it, you know, if, if you really feel like, you know, all these different things are happening, ask the father, why are they happening? And nine times out of ten is to show you, is to teach you, is to cause you to repent, you know, is to, to, to uh, you know, renew your mind in areas where you've been probably, you know, rebelling and, and not necessarily uh, trying to uh, uh, receive the instruction of the Father. And so um, I just want to encourage you all with that, man. I pray that this blessed y'all, man. I appreciate y'all for tuning in to Hogmont Media, and we'll see y'all next time. Mobby.